Neil, can we start with the latest on the injury front after the weekend? What's the latest with Daniel Gretson? Yeah, he's going to go for a scan tomorrow. He's in a obviously quite a little bit of pain from um, Saturday. He was in the wars a bit on Saturday. Uh, he had a dead leg and he dislocated his shoulder. Um, it, it popped straight back in at the time. Um, so we don't know the severity of that injury yet until tomorrow. Um, we're hoping that he's got no tendon or ligament damage around that shoulder. Um, if not, then it'll be a shorter um, period of time he'll face out. Um, fingers crossed uh, we get some good news from that. Other than that, um, there's, there's no other issues. Uh, there'll be no one returning and there'll be no one um, who's not going to play or play a part in this game from Saturday. That sort of problem, it's always a tricky one, isn't it, in that area because it can easily pop out again if, if the strength has gone. Yeah, and that's obviously something we'll know more about tomorrow um, after he's been for a scan. I say he's in a bit of pain at the moment. Um, but as always with Daniel, he's, he's smiling. Um, he's you know he's great to have around the place. It's certainly been a um, some games have been a baptism of fire for him this season. It's different from the football he's been used to playing, um, but he's he shows warrior like spirit on the pitch. He's a real competitor. I thought him and Daniel Ballard um, on Saturday were outstanding, as were the whole team. You know, um, but yeah, he, he would be a miss. But we've you know we've got some um, defensive reinforcements ready to go. Can we touch on Daniel Ballard? He said on Saturday this is the most consistent run he's had of games when available for selection. And he said at the start of the season that he had to get used to the, the rigours of, of League One football and playing Saturday, Tuesday, and he's certainly doing that at the moment. Yeah, and he's grown in confidence because of that. Um, you can see the belief in him. Um, after every game early on in the season, um, it, was, um, it was different for him. It was a different challenge. Obviously, in the under-23 league, most of the time you've got a week, ten days between games, and the intensity, the physicality of the games are completely different. In in the schedule we face this season, he's been playing pretty much Saturday, Tuesday every week, and that takes time to adjust and adapt to. And he has done, um, and because of that, and in, in the level of performance he's produced, he's grown in confidence, and you can see that in him. Um, he's been fantastic for us, um, and well, may that continue. The countdown's firmly on to the end of the season now and it's at that point where every single point is crucial at the top and bottom and it'll certainly be the case at Rochdale tomorrow night. Um, yeah, yeah it will, yeah. Um, six games to go, 18 points to play for. Um, and they're fighting for their lives and they've had two really good results at home recently. When I watched Rochdale play, um, they've, they've picked up, they've got a different way of playing, they've made themselves harder to beat. Uh, and they're fighting for their lives and you got to give credit to the manager and the players there that they found a way in the last few games so we know that if we're not prepared um, if we don't go and play with passion and an intensity and aggression then Rochdale have got good players and when I look at them I think they're um, they're better than their league posi position suggests um, so if they keep performing the way they, they are, then I expect them to get out of it. I just hope that that's not, um, that's not tomorrow night. Do you much prefer these games where both teams have got something to play for and sort of have to go out to, to win matches rather than playing someone that might be a dead rubber at this stage of the season and might try new things? Um, that's a good question. You could, I don't think you could, you could ever answer that for definite. Um, I like the fact that there's something on it for both teams because it's just more exciting as a as a coach to prepare for these types of games. Um, you you know, does your plan work? Um, they'll have a plan and they'll be ready. And um, sometimes when teams have nothing to play for, maybe they're not as prepared or they don't have a plan or they change the team, they change the system. It's harder to prepare for, and you never know. The players might be then be more relaxed than they give a a freer performance which actually helps them in this type of situation um, where both teams have got something to play for you you you, you might never know what you're going to get from the players um, I'd have to say looking at both teams I've got a good idea of what will uh, will happen on the pitch tomorrow night um, and um, you know the, the the consistency we've shown in the last 
I'd say 16 games, but it's it's a lot longer than that. And Rochdale, what they've shown recently, then it has the makings of a really good game again. Obviously not in contention for tomorrow night, but you're in a position where you think, obviously Keshi, Kevin Stewart, Gary Medine may have a chance before the end of the season's out. I would hope so, yeah. Uh, there would be big pluses for us, because uh, you know, three important players, good players, big characters. Um, Keshi and Kevin are probably a little bit closer. Uh, they've, Keshi's been out in the grass for a few weeks. Um, but he's been out for longer than Kev. Kev's been back out on the grass for a week. Um, so hopefully in the next week to 10 days, we can start integrating them back into training. It's just that Kev will be starting from a um, a greater level of um, base of fitness because he's been out for less time than Keshi, but Keshi's determined to come back. Um, so hopefully those two will be in and around it. Um, Keshi might need a little bit longer in terms of training and uh, maybe a, a, a game, a midweek game, etc. Kevin probably won't. And Gary, we're hoping that we'll be able to get back on the grass sometime this week. And if he can and he does that, then he'll be looking to put himself available and up for selection for the last few, few games. And if that's for a start for any of those players, if that's a contribution from off the bench, they've got the character and the experience that could really help help us at an important time.